What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Mike. I am a part-time reseller on eBay and a part-time YouTuber on YouTube. And since my last video, we have reached 14 sales in the last three days. Um, pretty nice. Very excited about that. So for the week, that puts us at $778 in the last seven days. And so far this year, being a part-time reseller, I have sold a total of $18,591. All right, so let's get to the what solds. I'm going to try to go through them quickly because there are 14 of them, like I said. So let's go. First sale of the day is this Panasonic Link to Sell Bluetooth cordless phone with answering machine. It comes with a total of five handsets. This was an open box, but it had not been used. Um, this guy sold for $85 and zero cents plus shipping. I got a big uh, phone kick once and was buying all kinds of different old phones and they can definitely be valuable. So keep your eyes open for them. All right, this guy right here is an R generation Patat doll, 12 inch brown horse with blonde mane. This horse I got at the bins, I believe. And this is right around the time I think I found my first Briar horses also. And I got on a big horse kick. And this one had some good comps, but it would not sell. I was finally able to get the price low enough uh, for it to sell. Sold for $6.24 plus shipping. Glad to see it go. It was one of my, uh, I think, very first purchases way back in the day. Here we go. Mr. John Gruden makes another appearance on the sell sold list, what sold. And this is my last John Gruden bobblehead. And I wish I had more of them. They uh, started selling pretty quickly once the football season got close. And they sell for 20 bucks. like I said. This one sold for full price, $21.99 plus shipping. And uh, sad to see them go. I saw a Bernie Sanders bobblehead today, and I was going to get it. But I'm glad I opened it up because his necklace snapped off. Up next, the Schleich 2011 red pickup truck farm equipment vehicle retired. I think I've mentioned this before in my videos. These, this brand is very uh, collectible. Uh, these trucks are just as collectible as the little figures. So check them out if they're in decent condition. Pick them up. They can be worth anywhere from twenty to one hundred dollars, depending on the model and condition of it. Uh, this was another item I probably had in the store for a while, and I had to lower the price. To just the right point for it to sell and it sold for $22 plus shipping. Here we have uh, Lucas the Spider first edition 7 inch uh, plush. Uh, some of you guys might be familiar with this. It is uh, I think a YouTube series or someone made a YouTube about a I think it was a piano playing spider called Lucas and uh, this guy sold for $29.99 plus shipping. You sunk my battleship. We have a vintage 1990 battleship board game, 100% complete. Uh, someone actually sent me a really low ball offer on it, and I, I actually was trying to get rid of it. I sent the offer out for nine bucks, which was too expensive for them, I guess. Well, right after I did that, uh, someone came and bought it for my full price, which is nothing great, but uh, 12.99 plus shipping. Glad to see it go. It was a uh, an older item that, to be honest, I was probably going to donate soon anyways. I was over it. Next is this uh, Garmin GPS 12 handheld unit. This is an ancient GPS unit. Um, these are very valuable on eBay. Uh, I don't know the exact reason why these go for the good money they do, being as old as they are. Um, this one looked to be almost brand new funny thing is too is I found another one the very next day that I found this it sold the same day I haven't listened to the other one yet though I'm gonna let this one get delivered first 
but this one sold for $105 plus shipping. It's going to a freight forwarding service. I looked at the, uh, the address, so hopefully we don't have any issues with that. I have an order here. I just want to say it's something that's irritating us. In the middle of the night, I got excited. I got an order from a Optimus Prime talking helmet, voice-changing helmet. Sold for $37.99 plus shipping. But buyer canceled it within a couple minutes, saying they purchased it by mistake. I, I don't like that uh, reasoning for canceling purchases, just for the fact, like, how do you buy something by mistake? Like, you have to go through a process to purchase something. Most of the time, I think it's someone that finds the same thing at a cheaper price. But it is what it is. It will sell eventually. It's got a lot of uh, activity on it. Once things start uh, having a lot of activity on it, it usually sells fairly quickly. Plus, with it being Halloween, I'm assuming it's going to go soon. Just like that uh, Blackhawks had I bought, I had bought this one a while ago, knowing I'd have to hold on to it for a while. It's not a big seller, but I knew it would sell. It's a brand new New York Islanders um, beanie knit hat. It sold literally the day before the NHL season. I believe it started already. Um, but that sold for $9.99 plus shipping. Uh, <clears throat> it, it shows you I had this item in my store for months. Not one person looked at it. As soon as the NHL season came around, uh, it sold almost instantly. So it, it goes to show you that even a dead item might be dead for a reason. It might not be in season. It just... There's a number of factors to look at, but I already knew that going into this item. All right, Star Wars Attack of the Clones Arena Battle Beast Reek figure 2002. Uh, I actually, um, controversial, but I like the, the prequels. Uh, don't hate me, but they're not horrible. But, uh, this guy sold for... Uh, $14.99 plus shipping. This sale I thought was uh, rather just random and out of the blue. It's the Nerf Super Soaker Thunderstorm um, with clip. These are really cool guns. They like are electronic sword guns that shoot real fast. And I just find, find it odd as we're changing seasons here and it's getting really cold where we are and where this person ordered it from, that you're ordering a, a squirt gun, but who knows what they um, have in mind for it. Uh, that was also a, a brand new buyer on eBay, someone that signed up for an account to buy it. That happens a lot on eBay lately. I don't know if it's from promoted ads or, or whatnot. But that sold for $23.99 plus shipping. We have the Microwave Bacon Cooker. Bacon Wizard cooks one pound of bacon and reduces fat by 40%. It's like the George Foreman. It just knocks the fat right out of it. Um, as seen on TV, items can be good sellers. Usually not the highest margins on it or biggest sales, but they will sell uh, as long as they're new in box. Especially around holiday time, they're great little gifts for people to buy and, and give to people. This one I literally just found yesterday, just listed it yesterday, and it sold. It's the Remington Pivot and Flex Shaver Series replacement head for electric shavers. Um, what did I sell it for? $21.99 plus shipping. Uh, I knew this was going to sell. I just didn't know it was going to sell that fast. It was right in line with all the other ones uh, that sold. People don't like to replace their whole shavers because they're expensive. So if you can get a deal on replacement heads, uh, they're going to take that. So if you look, keep your eyes out for, for stuff like this. Most people just walk right past stuff like this at the thrift store. It just looks like trash to them. And then they actually go and buy real trash. It, it's mind-blowing sometimes. And I'm talking about resellers, yes. And the final item is... the 
Star Wars Darth Maul uh, electronic talking mask helmet uh, from 2011. Uh, another prequel item there. It works perfectly and it's pretty cool. I'm sure someone's getting it for Halloween and I hope they have a lot of fun with it. Hello there. Sorry, that was a horrible Obi-Wan Kenobi impersonation. I know a lot of people watch videos of full-time resellers because it's the attraction of, hey, I'm going to start reselling and I won't have to work for anyone going forward. But you have to get there first. And it's not an easy route, but it's definitely a route that anyone can try to get to. I never thought in a million years I would be here right now and looking at my uh, dashboard and seeing, you know, eighteen and a half thousand dollars in sales. When I started, I had a really simple goal of, well, maybe I can, you know, make an extra hundred dollars a month. And for some people, that's all they want to do, which is great. But you don't know something until you try it. Knowing what I know now, I think next year I'm going to be able to double whatever sales I end up for this year. I mean, I've lucked out on sourcing the... I've, I've made this much in sales off of just thrift stores. I know a lot of people say it's impossible to make a full-time living off of thrift stores, and they might be true, but... I'm always finding stuff. I find that uh, frequency helps a lot. When you go to the thrift store every single day, you will find stuff every single day. And you'll find good stuff. So I'm sitting at, I think, like 416 items right now. Uh, I don't know if I'll be able to do it, but... I have a, a goal to get to uh, 1,000 listings by, you know, it'd be nice by the end of the year, but if things keep selling the way they do, I'm going to have to put my pedal to the metal, and I don't know if I'll have time working full-time, uh, holidays, all that stuff, but we'll see. I, I feel if I can get to 1,000 listings, quality listings, not just anything, um, I'm going to be sitting very comfortably and, and setting the foundation to expand my business to to going into next year going forward and because I know what I want to do I I want to keep growing this I want to eventually be able to do this full time and it takes dedication to to this if you're just dabbling in it putting your toe in the water and you enjoy working at your full time job then continue doing that and make that extra money but if you're like me, I want to get out of the grind. I love being my own boss. I love the freedom that comes with it. I want this and I hope within a year, you know, you're going to see a video of me uh, ramping up this thing to a, a point where um, I never thought in my wildest dreams I'd get to. And hopefully some of you watching this too will have success and get to that point too where you can become more independent and not need to work for the man anymore. All right, well, I'm going to get back to work. Um, these videos, they're fun to do and I like keeping you up to date, but they do take away um, time from stuff I have to do such as you know, take care of my dog, eat dinner, <laughs> and uh, get back to listing. Listing is the the key to success and while these videos are fun to do they don't pay the bills listing pays the bills so until next time things have changed whatever you had going for you that is over now ah welcome to a brand new beginning you sorry shits